Ed here, how you doing? Hey, uh, we have a Les Paul here, obviously. Uh, we uh, installed a Terminator DVDT system in here. Uh, this guitar actually belongs to Scotty Johnson of the Jim Blossoms. Um, we uh, wired this guitar for 250K on a bridge and 500K on the neck, and that's why I wanted to do this video just so you can get an idea what it sounds like. Now, when we wire put a Terminator system in this in a Les Paul, uh, we do a little bit, it's a little different than most guitars. Now we basically pull out the whole everything, the whole plate, all the pots. We just cut the pickups off at the solder joints, the leads, and then cut out the bridge crown. In this case, we replaced the output jack as well, but uh, we put it in the, basically the DVDT B system, which is the basic, which is just the four pots. But we can also do it with the output jack, and we have the DVD DVDT three T system, which is everything. So, but anyways. Um, the reason why I want to show this to you is because I want to get how it sounds. And second of all, when installing, just so you know, the, our pots are designed to go on pretty much every guitar. It's a universal pot. CTS designed it for us, dual value, 500K, 250K. On these Gibsons, though, it can be a little challenging at times. The, uh, uh, this, these tops are never consistent. I have yet to find one where our pot does not fit. But there's come times, like on this guitar here, it was really close. And uh, especially... At, Usually it's the, the, the neck volume, but this time it was the neck tone. That was like, wow, I had to pull all the washers off. I got it on there, but it was, what I had to do was actually, they, they, the so rough cut inside there. Gibson does not really do a good job of cleaning up their debris in there. So I was able to go in there and just knock down some of the wood chips and stuff like that and smooth it all out. Then I was able to get it on there and tighten it up and it works great. So um, that's the challenging part about Gibson. They, they, there's tops, I guess they, hand uh, sand this uh, arch in there that's what I've seen in a video I don't know if that's true or not but anyways uh, this challenge most guitars though the tops are designed basically to fit a 3 8 inch uh, potentiometer in there but Gibson's are a little different uh, let me give you some of the tones so like I said we wired this bridge pickup 250k <laughs> It's nice and warm now. Typically these are really bright and harsh, especially when you get a little dirt on them. Yeah, there's no harshness there. It sounds really good. We did the, the uh, neck at 500k. I like it. It's got a little chime to it, which I like. Now, if you really want to make this kind of like a woman type tone, as what uh, going back to like uh, Eric Clapton used to say uh, on his guitars, then maybe wire this at 250k. You'll get that real nice warm sound. But definitely hear the difference. Even even though we brought this closer, really in a way, we kind of took this pick and just moved it up a little bit by take, taking it to the 250k. Uh, but you still hear the difference between going from back from the bridge to the neck. So it sounds good. I like it. sounds nice and smooth in the neck. Yeah, this guitar sounds great. Plays good. It's got a beefy neck on it. It's really cool. Anyways, uh, Terminator DVDT, uh, basic system. We designed it especially for Les Paul. 
Um, or if you have like an Epiphone or any other guitar, you want to replace the whole thing. DVDT3T system. Uh, we do make them with the 18 inch long lead to go from here to there, obviously. Um, MatterGuitarProducts.com. Here what your guitar is missing.